I work down at McConville's. That's the pub behind the square. If ever you're in Portadown, anyone can point you there. We have loggers, ales, and porters. But the thing that brings them in is the whiskey that McConville brews. That's where this all begins. In all the years I've worked there, and for 50 years before, not a bottle of the sweet stuff ever walked outside the door. Cause McConville laid the rule down and it was honored till today. You can drink your fill while at the bar, but the bottle has to stay. Six or seven years ago, when young Jimmy first came by, he was looking for a local. We were the third place that he tried, and he looked around, no ferns, no Tully blaring from the bar. And once he tried the whiskey, Jimmy never strayed too far. He'd come in after dinner for an hour, maybe more. He'd play some cards and talk and joke, cause that's what a local's for. Before he'd leave most nights, because the bottles had to stay. Ask me for a whiskey just to see him on his way. And three days ago, his mate came in and he said, Jimmy took a fall from a roof that he was working on he had no chance at all and today after the funeral after burying young Jim they came here to his second home the mourners crowded in then I did a thing I never thought I'd do till it was done. I took a bottle from the shelf. I held it up for everyone. I said rules are made for breaking. Tonight the whiskey leaves the bar. An auction for the family. Give me 50 pounds to start. At 500 pounds, the bidding stopped. And no, ya couldn't hear a sound but for the roar as Jimmy's mate stepped up laid their pay packs down and I can't believe I did it I never thought I'd see the day that I'd hand someone the bottle and then watch it walk away and as I was headed home tonight I passed the graveyard by I swear that I heard singing silhouetted on the sky with Jimmy's friends and they were pouring something on his grave a little offering for young Jim to see him on his way
That's the pub behind the square. If ever you're in Portadown. 